Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, Part 3. Now we're dealing with the spirit of seduction and many of the ways it operates. Now we're going to deal with the very first introduction to the spirit of seduction. Now, <laughs> I didn't mean to make it rhyme like that, but anyway... We're starting with Genesis. We already read it before. So I'm just going verse by verse as we dissect God's word, shall we? Okay, verse number four. Mm, mm, mm. And, well, starting at verse one, he asked the woman, um, yea, have, I'm reading down from the first, from the beginning of the verse, where it's a, a quote. Yea, have God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Now, Satan a lot of times through the spirit of seduction brings things through a question. It's either a charm, an allurement, or something to get your attention. Now, here we go. Now the fascination begins. Verse 4, and the serpent said unto the woman, after the woman described what God said, you know, about if they eat of it, they'll surely die. Now, then the serpent says unto the woman, he shall not surely die. <laughs> hmm. Then he says, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Now, spirit of seduction working right there. Spirit of seduction. Now, okay, let's break this down to today's uh, situation. Right? Let's break it down. <laughs> All right. Now, here you are, and you've got a friend operating under the spirit of seduction, anointed by the spirit of seduction. And they bring something to your attention. And they say, you see that, that wallet down there on the floor? Go grab it real quick. And the person's like, well... Who does it belong to? You, you know, you might be of a good conscience and you say, well, who does it belong to? And 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 your friend will, will say, well, that doesn't matter because if they dropped it, it's open game, baby. It's not like you're stealing it now, is it? And you're thinking about but what if it has money? I mean, and the person's adding to it. Let's see how much money's in there. It could be credit cards. We could go on a shopping spree. And, oh, my goodness. And, and here the enticement comes because then your imagination starts to run with you, right? And it starts to take you places. Now the spirit of seduction is not only alluring, enticing you, but now you're being tempted because you're really going off into your all the things you would love to be able to buy that you know your money won't get for you. Your appetite is rising like a man that's getting uh, aroused by a beautiful woman. Now, here you are, spirit of seduction, same thing, working. All right, here you are looking at the ground, and the guy says, okay, go on, grab it real quick. I'll be the lookout. Well, why doesn't he pick it up? <laughs> he wants you to do it, right? Yeah, yeah that's kind of the way they do stuff. So here you are, dum diddy dum dum you reach down and you pick it up, and, and the two of you, they snatch it out your hand, you're opening to see what's in there. A lot of money and a load of credit cards. Ooh, we, baby, we have hit the jackpot. Now, if you don't stop yourself right then and there and under your breath, rebuke the spirit of seduction. I rebuke the temptation to take this person's money in the name of Jesus. If you don't take authority, take control of your desires right then and there. 
your desires will take control of you. Yes. And someone will suffer because of the choice you made to do what was pleasing to you rather than doing what's right by someone else. All right. Now, another one. Let's get another example. Let's get another example. Help me, Lord. Give me some ideas. All right. Now, here you are at a restaurant. Mm, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good temptation here. Here you are at a restaurant and, uh, you know, someone twisted your arm. Oh, let's go. Let's go. And you know that your money's tight and you need money, gas money to last you to go to work for next week. And you've already paid your bills, but things are a little tight. So you're really hungry, but you, and you really got a taste for something that that restaurant offers. And you know you've got the money to pay for it in your hand, but that money was really designated for next week's gas because you're budget conscious. Oh, but now you're being tempted because your friend has twisted your arm. You go into this restaurant and they say something like, well, we can just get a cup of coffee and a dessert. But now you're there and the menu gets handed to you. And, oh, we look at all of this and you smell, oh, and it's like, oh, your senses come alive. And then that spirit of seduction starts to rise. Just like a man being seduced by the sight of a beautiful woman. Same spirit. That's why I keep going back and forth with that. Now, here you are at the restaurant and you're getting ready to eat. And you say, oh, shucks, let me go for it. And you go on and make the order and you get exactly what you want and you enjoy every morsel. Ah! And then it's time to pay the bill. Uh-oh. And it's a little more than you wanted it to be because you also have to pay the tip. And the tax. Oh, what did I do? Now regret comes. Too late. <laughs> you got to fork it up, baby. Got to pay the cost to be the boss. But the server goes away. The bill is on the table. And your friend is mischievous. And what do they say? You know what? We could walk out right now. Ain't nobody looking. Not like they know your address or know who you are. And if you play with that thought too long, you might just go for the okie doke. Yeah, you got away with something, but at what cost? Because God is looking at you and booking. He's taking notes, baby. <laughs> Spirit of seduction working. We're going to go on to the next video. And I just want you to think for a minute. What would you have done? Pay that bill and, and and just just count your loss. Doing the right thing, or would you have gotten up with your mischievous buddy and slipped out the back, Jack? Hmm.